Hi guys. Welcome back to PageFly video tutorial series. This is a new video in the series of videos named what PageFly can do. In these videos, I will use PageFly to build Shopify pages based on famous websites to show you capability of PageFly. Today, I will guide you how to build a product page based Dior. Let's take a quick look at the page. With this product page, Dior want to show their product details and the product origin. Dior use Century Gothic standard font that is not supported in PageFly, so firstly, I will introduce to you how to upload custom font and apply it to your PageFly page. So let's get started. Let's start building the page now. On PageFly dashboard, click on page type and select product page. We will create a page from scratch by selecting create a page from blank page here. To build the first section, we need a product details. In the left sidebar, I will drag and drop a Shopify product details element to the page. Then, go to general tab to choose the product source. I will select custom product here. I will adjust the image bigger like the sample page. First, we need to set the section full width. Click on the row and move to general tab, set the column spacing to create more space between two columns. Then, move the content like this. I will delete some unnecessary elements like product variants, quantity and product view details. First, I will restyle the heading and styling tab. then styling product description below. To add the star rating reviews, you can use third-party app to show. For example, I will use Lux review element to the page. To learn more about third-party app, let's check our description below. Then, we will move to the product price. To add the text next to the price, I will use a block, let's see how I do it. Next, click on the price and move it into the block. Here you can see both elements now are inside the block. We need one more paragraph below. Then, we will drag the Add to Cart button out of the block and delete the block, then styling it. The next element also a button. Change the content here. Scroll down to add click action for the button. I will choose go to URL and paste URL here. Then click on select to save the change. 
Let's move to the Styling tab to customize the button. First, I will add style for normal state. Next, let's customize the mouse over state. The next part is a bit complicated, but don't worry, let's build it together. Firstly, I will drag and drop a content list element to the page and delete unnecessary element inside. Then, let's styling it. Click on image, and then move to general to add image and image source. To open the pop-up content like the sample page, I already created a page to show this content. First, styling the heading. You can add image for the two image element here as the way I did before for the first image, and here is the result. Then, I will change the content of the item 1, 2 and 3. Now, click on Content List Element to add style for it. And then, set the border for the Content List in Styling tab. Then, select Click Action like this. For pop-up content, I will choose Store Content. Then select page and choose the page that I created before here. Let's check that pop-up in preview. Let's take a quick look at the next part. Firstly, I will add a block. Then drag and drop elements inside the block. Click on the paragraph and change the content here, and add the image and image source. Here is the result. And style all elements as normal. Click on block and add style for it. Let's move to the final part of this product details. We use Acaridians to show the content here. We will add the content in the general tab and customize style in styling tab. I will add a paragraphs into accordion content. Click on it to duplicate. So I have three paragraph here. You can change the content and add style as the way I did before. You can do the same for four next accordions, I will duplicate it to save time. If you want the first accordions always open, let change the setting in general tab like this. To set the different color for the accordion, we need to use custom code. I will add the code at the description, so you can copy and paste to your editor page.
Next, to make the product media sticky like this. You also need to add custom code like this. You can see how it work here. All done, let's save and publish to see how it looks in live page. Between each section, Dior use a divider to create a spacing. You only need to drag and drop a divider to the page. And styling it. Now, we will move to the next section. This section Dior shows suggested product for their customers. We will use a product list element to show related product here. Then styling it. Now I will add product description below the product title and add style for it. You can click on product title to copy style and paste into product price element like this. Then move to styling tab, scroll down below to remove flex for display and delete the button to make it similar to the sample page. Similar to above, you can add star rating from a third-party apps. Then, add a divider at the end of this section, by clicking on this divider to duplicate. Then move it below the product list. Two next sections are review and recently viewed, you need to use third-party apps for this. Let's check our description to learn more about third-party apps. Don't forget to check the responsive on other devices. Let's switch to mobile. Now, I will adjust some elements to make it responsive. It's look great, right? All done, let's see how the page look on live view. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. These are other videos on our channel you also may need. Thanks for watching.